And tonight, the Sioux Falls City Council made a decision on a liquor license for a controversial store in central Sioux Falls. Double Land's Dan Santella is just back from the Carnegie Town Hall with the result of the vote. Dan, what did councilors decide? Down by a six to two vote, councilors decided not to renew a liquor license for Wally, a convenience store. The store is located on East 10th Street in central Sioux Falls, close to two organizations that serve the city's homeless the Bishop Delvey Hospitality House and the Banquet. Wally had come under scrutiny for selling high potency alcohol to vulnerable people. Attorney Tyler Coverdale, who is representing Walia Convenience Store, says the store has changed what's on its shelves. And the store has also pulled from its shelves all canned alcoholic beverages with a concentration of 6% alcohol or greater. The two yes votes to renew a packaged liquor license for the store came from counselors Christine Erickson and Marshall Selberg. Erickson brought up an option of revisiting the issue if problems arise. But the option for this council is to say, you're coming in, we see the violations, if there are violations and the police informs us, we have that option to bring them back in. I am really hesitant to shut down somebody's livelihood, and, uh, but there have been issues here and it's been going on a while, so I'm kind of torn. But I do like this idea that maybe we do have them back in 60, 90 days. Among the majority of counselors who voted to not renew the liquor license were counselors Pat Starr and Greg Neitzer. It's not just the location because we have businesses around there where I'm not hearing any of these problems. It's the, the, the entire part of it that this business, this location. Tonight I have a problem in front of me that's a very small symptom of an overall problem, but we've got to take action. We're including links to our past stories on the convenience store with this story at Kelloland.com. All right, thank you for that, Dan.